swiping agent wants students to have the most meaningful and beneficial time when they're in the program. This is why we give them a baseline or a placement test so that the program will serve up the correct curriculum for, for them. For example, if a student tests or if a student is not able to do, say, the top row letters, he or she will be placed in the appropriate spot for home row letter growth. So let me show you as a district administrator, if you do not want your students to do the placement test, you can actually do that. Typing agent only serves up a mandatory placement test for students from grades three and above. Kindergarten grade one and two do not have to do it, just three and above. And the test will be a maximum of three minutes long. If the child is only able to, or is not able to master the home row, that child's test will be a minute long maximum. So don't get worried, let them do the test. But now we have some teachers, some schools who may say, no, nope, I want my children to start at the home row um, key. So that's what I'll show you how to do. So if you're on this page, you click on school management, grade settings. Then from here, we're asking you to choose a grade level. Now typing agent had, has these five different levels or, or areas of learning. So we have the high school, middle school, fourth and fifth, and grade three, because it's straddling between here, they have their own kind of a curriculum as well. So um, remember the placement test will only be for grades three and up. So what I need to do is go on third grade and I can click skip placement test and click save. Notice I'm told up here that my settings have been updated successfully. This is how I know that this, that here has been, that setting has been saved for my third graders. If I wanted to do it for my um, sixth through eighth graders, I can go in again, click here and click save. I'm not going to do that because I know I want my children, if they are, very masterful with the home row or top row letters. I want them to start at a place that makes sense for them and not hold them back because I'm waiting for other people to get in. So, but if I wanted to do that, again, I can skip it and I'm told that it's been saved successfully. So that's all the district administrator has to do. And based on their permissions, if they've given permission for other people to make changes, well, these other guys can go and undo what has been done. And if you don't want them to do that, just go ahead and say only the change things that the um, district administrator can change. So this here is how this works. And then you just save it and that's it. I'm going to now log in as a school administrator. And again, I'm at my school's website for a single standalone or a homeschool um, administrator. I know that I'm that because I see that admin button. I click school management. I click grade settings. And just as I did with everybody else, I do the exact same thing. Go down here, click a skip placement test and save it. Now, as a teacher, I, uh, it's a little bit trickier for teachers to do this. So again, if my um, uh, admin has told me I can't do this, then I may not have accessibility to this. But just in case I can do this, I click on my classroom on the left. I click settings and it's found under accessibility options. Here, everyone who's in my class will appear here. I can see where it's, it says skip placement test. I click that drop down menu and it says yes or no. I click yes and I can apply it and everybody here has to skip this test. We'll skip this test. If I don't want, like say I have these three people here and I don't want all three of them to, to skip it, 
I can click off this um, this next this X next to this student's name, and I'm already told, are you sure you want to remove accommodations for this student? If I am sure, I click OK. And notice when I go and click this yes to apply, then that student is not included. Another way around this is to click on, if I only wanted to apply to one student again, I can click this one student's name. I go to accommodations. I go to settings. And notice here, it'll tell me um, skip placement test. I can select that and any of these, I say, if checked students will not receive the placement test when I hover over the I, and then I click apply. So when that child goes in there and notice immediately that student gets an asterisk next to his name, this Michael Jordan, because a special accommodation has been made for him. So whenever you see X's next to a student name or asterisks, I should say, next to a student's name, it means that some sort of accommodation has been made for that student. I now hope you know how to manage these placement tests for your students. Do what is best for your students so that their keyboarding skills can grow at a rate that makes sense for them. That's all for now. Have a great day. Bye-bye.